Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a skincare video and it's about my top favorite skincare when you're traveling. Usually when we travel, our skin gets really dehydrated on the plane or if you have like problematic skin like mine, planes are the worst place for bacteria so I get a lot of breakouts and my skin is just not usually looking its best when I reach my destination. So I'm gonna tell you about the, my favorite products to kind of recover my skin and take them with me when I go traveling. I wouldn't probably take all of them with me um, but yeah, these are like my top favorite and depending how my skin's feeling before I leave, I usually take a combination of some of these. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video, but before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't, and also don't forget to check my website, www.jasminapro.com, um, for more content on beauty and fashion. everything off with my favorite product for hydrating. Um, usually when we travel on planes, our skin gets really dehydrated because these planes are such a horrible place for your skin. There's a lot of bacteria going around and also they really dehydrate your skin, they suck all the moisture out. So I always like to wear a good moisturizer when I'm doing long haul flights especially, um, but actually when I'm doing any flight, it's just good to moisturize well. Um, I have to say that I'm not one for doing like super extra skincare routines on my flight. I am really lazy. I usually go with a completely washed face, completely makeup free, and with some good moisturizer on. And one of my favorites is this Dior Hydrolife. This is a really lovely moisturizer because it's really thinly textured. It's basically a water-based serum, but it is really intensely hydrating. So it's great for people like me who have dehydrated skin, but also have acne and are very prone to breakouts. Because if I take something really oily, it's probably gonna break me out on the flight. Um, but this one's really nice. It's very light, sinks into the skin really beautifully, but it keeps your skin super, super, super moisturized all the way. I also really like this one to use it when I reach my destination. It's a great hydrating cream and if your skin's feeling really dehydrated, it's good to use it under makeup because it'll really kind of quench your skin um, and will give it all that hydration and all that moisture back but without any of the oil. It's also really nice because it has a very nice applicator. It's a pump one, so it means that you're not kind of dipping your fingers. So if you feel that you need to reapply on the flight, it's amazing because you don't kind of put your fingers, which might be dirty or anything, into the pot and kind of contaminate everything. Um, so yeah, this one is a real favorite. To moisturize in the evening once I get to my destination and I wash my face, I love this one. It's almost over right now, but it's the Clarins um, Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil. I absolutely love this oil. I discovered it maybe like two or three years ago, and it's a great oil. I actually was really skeptical about using oils, but this one was recommended for dehydrated skin, and I suffer from a lot of dehydration, especially here, where my skin gets really red, flaky, and just really horrible, and this one is amazing. It just calms my skin down. It doesn't break me out at all. It actually kind of makes my acne reduce. It kind of balances the oil levels on my skin, so it's really good. Um, it's got a really nice applicator. It comes with a pipette, um, and it is a real oil. It doesn't kind of go all over your skin. If you apply it, it kind of stays that what I do is rub it in between my hands and then just pat it onto my face. There is an updated skincare routine where I feature this one, so I'll definitely link that on the screen now so you guys can have a watch. But yeah, this one is a great oil if you've got dehydrated skin. Honestly, you pop it on at night and the next morning you wake up and your skin is literally glowing. Moving now onto masks, I always like to carry one mask with me, especially if I'm gonna be doing a long haul flight because when I reach my destination, sometimes, like I said, my skin is really dehydrated, so I like to take one really good hydrating mask and there are two which I absolutely love. One of them is my long-term favorite from La Roche-Posay. This is their Hydrophase Intense Mask. And this one is an amazing mask to wear when you've got dehydrated skin. I actually took this one with me when I went to Japan, which was a while ago now. I went on a super long haul flight and my skin was feeling horrible. Like honestly, it was peeling off on my nose and on my cheeks because it was that dehydrated. And this one, I literally popped it on two nights in a row and my skin was perfect. It's really good because it doesn't break you out. It's a very hydrating mask, but it's not oily. Um, it has, again, a lot of water what it does is it brings the moisture back rather than being very nourishing um, which works really well for acne prone skins I just apply like a thin layer you can leave it on overnight or you can leave it on for about 10-15 minutes and then just kind of 
wipe it off. If you want it to be more effective because your skin's really dehydrated, I would just wipe it off with a tissue if you don't want to leave it overnight. Or if you don't want to break out and your skin's kind of not very dehydrated, you can definitely kind of wipe it off with a damper flannel and then just go in with your normal moisturizer. Next up is this one from Sephora. Now this one is a little bit different. This one is an overnight creamy night and moisturizing and plumping mask which has hyaluronic acid. This one is a little different to the one from La Roche-Posay in the sense that this one is more hydrating and nourishing. So if you are prone to breakouts, I would say be careful with this one. Like use it when your skin is feeling very dehydrated, but I wouldn't use it too often. It is a great one to carry on travel though. If your skin's really dehydrated, you can pop it on overnight and in the morning your skin is literally glowing. And because it has hyaluronic acid, it's great for people who have a little bit of like wrinkles or who have a lot of like um, hollows underneath their eyes like me. You can even pop it underneath your eyes. And what this does is it really plumps. Honestly, the effect is incredible. I've spoken this in a favorites video before because it's just amazing. Like honestly, you feel like you've had fillers put into your skin when you wake up in the morning. Your feel skin just feels so plumped, especially around the cheek area and my eye area. The difference is huge. So it's a great one to use if you're having an event. I would use it the night before. Um, and it is definitely very hydrating and it nourishes your skin, but it is a little bit more oily than the Hydrophase one. Moving back to moisturizer, one that I would recommend to take when you're traveling is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This one is the Charlotte Magic Cream, and it's an amazing, amazing moisturizer, and I would recommend this one for travel because it is really hydrating, but at the same time, it's a great one to wear underneath makeup. It has SPF 15, which is not a lot, but it's good because it doesn't give you any flashback if you wear it in the evening and you're gonna be taking pictures. It is a great, great one to wear under makeup because it just kind of makes your makeup glide on super smoothly, it plumps your skin it really moisturizes it makes it really really glowing and your foundation looks really good and it helps it to stay put all day another favorite that I don't have with me right now is the Armani Prima moisturizing balm you can't get hold of that one that easily anymore but it is a really good one as well so I would say between these two I love them both equally um, but yeah this one's a great one to take on travel if you wanted to cant it into a smaller pot definitely you can but I would definitely recommend this one because it means you don't really need to take a primer because this cream is so good you can get away with no primer and finally for hydrating products are these Mask Bar Gold Hydrogel Eye Pads. Usually I have really, really bad under eye circles and when I'm jet lagged, I'm dehydrated, they look particularly awful to be honest. So these ones are great. It comes in a pack with about 30 pairs I think. Um, you do get like, they come in a little pot like this and basically there's like a liquid inside them keeping them really moisturized the only thing with these is you need to pop them for about 20 30 minutes and i would recommend for the first 10 minutes you definitely need to lie down because they do sort of slide down your face they're very thin gel pads and you have to lift them with a little spatula and you pop them on but honestly they plump your eye area so much and they reduce the dark circles so so much that they're amazing and to be honest i like these um, they have another one which is like a set that I used to use before. I will link it on the screen now so you guys can have a look at what it is. They're also from Mask Bar, but those ones are more like an actual mask. Like they are stick on and they're good because they don't sort of slide down your face. But those, they only get like four in a pack and I would recommend these because when I'm traveling, I usually need this for a good four or five days because I'm jet lagged and my eyes are just not looking that great. And also these are really good to pop on on the flight. They have gold and snail extract and vitamin E, which is super hydrating. So they're great to kind of um, reduce the darkness and just give it a lot of luminosity and kind of reduce the signs of aging. So if you have little wrinkles, it'll sort of fade them away and really plump up these areas. So I would definitely recommend these. And even if it's not for travel, definitely before an event. Another product I would recommend to go on travel would be this deep puffing serum from Clarence. I actually use this on a daily basis because my face is quite puffy, but if you're not, I would definitely recommend it because when you're jet lagged and you're kind of getting weird sleep, your face tends to go very puffy. This one is this Shaping Facial Lift Serum, which is really, really good. Basically what you do is you just take a couple of pumps, put it on your hands and then do a massage, which is kind of pressing your forehead, your eyes and then your cheeks and your jaw and kind of putting your face down on your palms and pressing this areas. There is a video where I did a skincare routine which I'll link on the screen now so you guys can have a watch um, showing how to apply this but that massage really 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 helps to deep off your skin and deep off your face. It drains all the fluid. It makes your face look really deep puffed which is exactly what you need after you're not getting much sleep. Moving now on to acne, which is something that really, really affects me, and I know that when I travel, it tends to get worse. Firstly, I'm probably eating out quite a lot, 
which isn't great for my skin because at home I usually eat at home all the time. And then after a flight, there's so much bacteria on flights and you probably touch your face or if you go to sleep, you're putting your face in a pillow. I always get so many breakouts when I reach my destination, so I always take something to treat my acne. A recent favorite has been the Satin Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. This one is from Sunday Riley. You can pop this on for about 20 minutes and it definitely helps to treat your acne, but when I'm traveling, what I mostly like to do with this is pop it on overnight. What I do is I just apply it to the spots and leave it on as an overnight treatment, and honestly, it helps them kind of shrink and go away much, much quicker. So I would definitely recommend this one if you are looking for something to treat your acne. But if you want a really quick solution, my best recommendation if you are suffering from acne would be this pen by Neutrogena. This is a light therapy pen and this one honestly has changed my life. I basically use the light therapy mask from Neutrogena um, every single night for 10 minutes and it's honestly helped so much with my acne. But I have to say it is quite big and quite bulky so I wouldn't recommend it for travel. Instead, this pen does exactly the same. It has red light to treat inflammation and blue light to treat the actual bacteria in the acne. And basically it goes on for two minutes and then just switches off by itself. You need to pop it on over your breakout, leave it there for about two minutes and then just um, take it off. It will tell you when it'll beep so that you take it off. You need to use it three times a day, but it's so easy. You can actually even carry this in your purse. Um, it's better to apply it over clean skin, but you can definitely apply it over makeup as well. I would definitely recommend this using three times a day and it honestly dries up your acne so quickly um, and it's great because you're not kind of putting any creams or anything on your face. It's very, very user friendly and very nice to carry with you anywhere that you travel. It's super light so I really love this one. When I am traveling for quite a few days or going on a long haul flight, my skin, after being really dehydrated and breaking out, it tends to get really blotchy. And also, like I said, because it breaks out, I love to take something that's gonna kind of take off the dead skin cell layer off my face and just kind of treat my acne as well. This one by Casmara is a peeling. I absolutely love this one. It has, it's a three action cleanser and it has glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid, which is great to treat your acne. It also cleanses your pores, gets rid of any blood, blackheads and it just kind of makes the skin really really smooth so I like to apply this kind of every two nights maybe you just need to leave it on for five minutes and literally just wash it off and it your skin just looks brighter it definitely helps to keep the acne at bay and honestly your makeup looks so much better because if you're having dehydrated skin it just kind of gets rid of all that kind of dead skin that you have on top which is peeling off um, and just makes your skin really smooth and it really helps with makeup application so that it doesn't kind of go blotchy and patchy, which can happen if you're having very dehydrated skin. So I always, always, always take this one with me. Finally, another skincare mask that I like to take with me is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Goddess Skin Clay Mask, and it's absolutely amazing. It is a clay mask, but nothing like I've ever tried before. It does kind of heal any spots, and it dries out the spots that you have on your face but at the same time you can use it frequently because it doesn't dehydrate your skin so I really like this one when I'm traveling because I can have like breakouts and dehydration all at the same time and this one is good for both it is hydrating it doesn't kind of make your skin feel like it's got literally cardboard and it's breaking when you've got the clay mask on but at the same time it dries your breakouts and it gets rid of impurities it's not as strong as some other clay masks that really kind of zap your um, breakouts and get rid of them in seconds but it definitely helps um, and you can use this maybe kind of twice in a week if you need it um, and it won't make the dehydration any worse and it's quite small as well so it's quite easy to travel with and finally for hydrating masks this one by mask bar this is a sheet mask you guys know I love sheet masks they are great um, for when you need a real boost and it's great because you can just carry them they come in like little packages like this so they're amazing for traveling because you can just carry this little thing with you and that's it basically this is really really similar to the one from sephora it's pretty much the same it's a hydrating and plumping mask it has hyaluronic acid so it really kind of plumps your skin really nourishes it but i would say it's easier on the breakouts than the other one but they're kind of similar. The one from Sephora, it is an overnight mask, so I feel like it works on you for longer, but this one, because it's a sheet mask, it kind of compresses the treatment into your skin, and it also works really well. So I'd say between these two, I am indifferent. This one's easy to travel with, because obviously you just carry the little pouch. The Sephora one, though, I have to say, even though it is an overnight treatment, it kind of goes on like a moisturizer, sinks into your skin, it doesn't stain your sheets or anything, which is good. But this one, you leave it on for about 30 minutes, it's just a normal sheet mask, and it just really helps to kind of plump your skin. This one is 
is especially good if you have wrinkles, so I would definitely recommend these for any older ladies. Okay guys, well those are all my recommendations for travelling. Do let me know in the comments below what skincare you would recommend for travelling and whether you've tried any of these out and whether they work for you. These are the things I like to travel with. I wouldn't carry all of them, like I said. I would see how my skin's doing, but I would definitely carry something for dehydration, a good moisturiser, and something to treat my acne. So I would choose three products that would do these three things that I would choose from this combination. But do let me know if you have any other recommendations down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you get a notification every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.